I'm often accused of living in the past because I talk so much about it. And to a certain extent, that's true. However, I don't see it that way. And that's what I'm gonna be talking about in this video. I'm a nostalgic. I make no bones about that whatsoever. And I like to go back there because of the life lessons that I've learned, the memories that I've got. And it's okay to do that. But the fact is, I live in the now, and I talked about that in a video a while back. I'll put a link to that down below. I look back and it's like a photo album of my mind. All the stories are there, all of the memories are there. There's no reason I should feel guilty about that. However, there are moments when I get down and I get morose, much like everybody else. And so I wanted to tell you about that today because I come on here on a regular basis and I share advice and a bit of motivation for my sons. And it can be mistaken and people can think that I must be up all the time, but I'm not. So what I want to do is share a couple of recent things with you, which will pretty much explain why I think we shouldn't live in the past. I had one of those days when, I have to be honest, I wasn't very happy. I'd started thinking about the past and when I was a kid and when I was a teenager and some of the situations that ha happened along the way. And I started to blame myself for some of the things that happened. My parents had an opportunity for something when I was about 16 that wasn't really talked about at home, but I think it would have been something very beneficial to us at the time. But I know my mum and dad didn't pursue it because I hated the place and I wanted to go somewhere else. I started to think the other day of how I held them back and the position I'd put them in and how had we bought that business and, and took it further, how different life would be. And so I sat there, beat myself up for a while. And then Debs, as always, the wise head in the household, <laughs> said to me, that's all well and good, beating yourself up about that. But you would never have had those two boys that you've got now because your life would have been completely different. And she's right. And as much as I wondered how further forward we could have been, there's also the opportunity that things could have gone drastically wrong and we'd have ended up worse off than we were. And so I sat there probably for two hours beating myself up and thinking that it was all my fault. I was 16, what did I know? <laughs> and that was one of those things. Yesterday, a different type of thing where I was down. I love this channel. I love sharing my thoughts with my boys, hoping that I bring them, I don't know, some good advice. So, and maybe some encouragement as they go on their way. Yesterday, I made the dreaded mistake of looking at my stats on this channel. And I saw that my views aren't as good as they used to be. I lost subscribers, all sorts of things. And I was really miserable about it. And for an hour, I contemplated calling it a day. Well, again, my wife told me to go and get a cup of tea and chill out. And that's what I did. And this morning, the numbers are back up. I've got a few more views and I'm happy again. So it's important that you don't keep looking back because that's what I was doing. I was looking back at last week's stats for my channel and feeling down. And that's the problem with when you start to look back in your life and when you start to mull over things. That's when things can truly mess up for you. And so, if you can't live in the past, what about the future? Well, 
The future is unknown. And I'll give you an example of that. Just before Christmas last year, we sorted out with some friends of ours to go out for something to eat. In the middle of the night, the morning that we'd arranged to go, I had paint in my chest, paint all down my left arm. My wife thought I'd had a heart attack. Got the doctors out. I ended up in hospital all that day. Went through a multitude of tests only to find out that everything was all right. They didn't know what caused the pains and I was A-OK. -okay. But I was planning ahead and I woke up in that night knowing that I might possibly not see the day out. And so you can't keep planning ahead. It's good to plan ahead and think in the future what you can be doing, but it's not guaranteed. So all you actually have is now this minute. Now, this video has come about mainly because of how I felt last week. I stand here telling you how great I am, <laughs> which I don't really, but it must come across that way that I know it all when I don't. And I watched a video the other day by someone that I follow called Primal England. And he was talking about this very subject. And so what I'm gonna do is leave a link down below so that you can check that out as well. But the fact is, you need to live your life today. I think it was Eleanor Roosevelt. He said, yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, today is a present. And that's why you've got to live in today, live in the now. Yeah, I fully understand checking for the future, definitely because we all hope to be there. <laughs> but we live our life in the now. Plan for the future. Do what you have to do to make your life comfortable in the future. Look back to the past for the lessons that it taught you and for the love that you received along the way. That's a good thing to do. But at the end of the day, there is only now. And that's the only thing that's important, to be honest with you. And that's what I just wanted to say. So, that's it for me today. The sun is out, it was supposed to be raining. If you've got any comments to make about this subject, if you've done what I've did recently, why not let me know? Let me feel that I'm not all alone in this. <laughs> and let me know your thoughts on living in the now. I'd be really good to hear it. And, um, I will see you next time.